Keegan, thank you so much for getting on this Zoom with us today because we are so excited for Schmigadoon because our little musical theater nerds freaked out when the trailer dropped. What was your first <laughs> reaction when you read the script or like learned about the project? I, I was I was so enamored with it almost immediately, Alyssa. I, I had this rule that if I read a script and it affects me emotionally upon the first reading, that I'm usually going to continue to move forward with that project. And Schmigadoon was no exception to that whatsoever. I just was because the thing that, that I loved is that I got to read the lyrical content of the songs, but didn't hear the song. I didn't know the songs or hear the music. And and the lyrics were so clever and fun. And, and some of them are so terrible, you know, wonderfully heartfelt that I'm like, oh no, I'm in. And then when you're telling me, I'm like, I'm sorry, who's in it? Kristen Chenoweth and Jane Krakowski and Alan Cumming. And, I mean, it just kept, the list kept on going and going and going. And so I was, um, I was, I was on board. I took a left-hand turn into no brainerville in like, you know, two seconds flat, so. Well, let's talk a little bit about the cast. Like you said, it's so fabulous. There are so many Stacked. hilarious people in it. So we're really curious who broke the most while filming these hilarious little scenes and who was getting people to laugh the most? Uh, Alan Cumming. Alan Cumming is very cunning. We could call him Alan Cunning. Alan Cunning. He, he, he'll just, the thing is, he's so proper and, it, and he's got that charming kind of Glaswegian accent, that Scottish accent. But then he'll drop a little dirty joke here. And then you're just like, Alan, you know, and, 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 and he'll do it sometimes when people are like, sound speed, right before action. And he'll do it, or, cause he, cause the other thing is he loves to tell a story and he's gotta finish his story. And he'll speed up the story to get to the end. It's like a really body, dirty story. <laughs> he waits to get to the end, before, and he goes, and then they, and then they put it in at action. And like, oh, Alan! And then you know you got to like collect yourself. So Alan is the real. He's a real prankster. Um, and the funny thing is, Christian Chenoweth, for as delightful and light and effervescent as she is, she really locks in. It's funny to watch everybody's techniques. You know, she really locks in. Um, I would say that. Um, um, gosh, I maybe, I don't break a lot, but somebody who can make me break is Fred Armisen. Fred can make me break. Now, during the scenes, I would usually be in pretty good shape, but every now and then just looking at Fred, he could get me. Cecily can get me right after a scene, or like, it's like we would finish a scene, but then keep improvising in character. She can always make me laugh. So maybe the answer to that question is me. Maybe that's me. But also there were, there was a couple of dancers um, and um, uh, supporting cast that did fun things that would make me and Cecily break. Because we just had the time of our lives together. We really did. I mean, it really looked it. And especially the theme at the center of this show is this kind of idea of true love. You know, your characters can't escape because they're not the right match. Do you personally believe in the idea of true love or even soulmates? I do. I do believe in the idea of soulmates. Yeah, I first of all, but I do want to say this about true love. I believe that true love is something that requires effort. And it's something that we that we work at. The effort is born of vulnerability. That's where that's what the effort is. You know, you go to the gym and you lift weights and you lift weights and, and you get your muscles stronger. The way to make your heart stronger is by opening yourself up and risking giving fully of yourself. That that's that's how you can cultivate true love. In regard to soulmates, I'm also a firm believer in soulmates. I think that people are put here on the planet for each other to reflect to each other what it is that they need to go through in this lifetime. I really am a firm believer of that. That that you, very often when there's difficulty or challenge and you're feeling it deep within you, that's usually the right person. When you both agree on the same things all the time and you always have the same opinion about something and you always see the world the same way that it will ultimately end up getting super boring you need you need the oil and the water together to to, to help they need to inform each other and if you're just the same as somebody there's no growth and growth is where miracles happen 